Hi there, this is Sean Connor with BuildBox. I just want to make a quick video to kind of give a quick overview on the new functionality in the mind map and also the lock button. So what we've done here is we've created a real simple uh, multi-world platformer. Now all I did was use Creator. So with that, now we have a regular mind map. We have two worlds. And in here we have our two buttons that would each default to the world that they're attached to, as you can see right here. What we're going to do is we're going to say we want to lock level two. So instead of having this, which does not have any lock functionality on it, it would just default if pressed. We're going to delete this button, and we are going to go and grab a lock button. Let's give it the same regular image, and then also we'll give it a lock image. And as you can see, now it looks the same, though until it's unlocked, it would show this image. All right, so let's go over some of the options here in the unlock section. For function, it's default. Connect the port right there. So we have a few different options here under unlock. We have default under unlock, and that means you have to use an unlock logic piece in order to unlock it. For in-game currency, well that would just be in-game coins. And in app purchase, you can see the store identifier there, that means that it's actual money. For destination, we have a few different options. Menus, that means once it's unlocked, it'll take, him, take the player to a specific menu screen, including game world or UI screen. It creates a port that you need to connect. For scene, once unlocked, it'll take them to a specific scene inside of the game world. This is great for stage clear games or games with challenges like color switch. Each challenge would be a scene, and when unlocked, they would go directly to that scene. They need to select the scene, and then also you definitely need to connect the port to the world the scene is in. It's important to do both, as these ports are not just visual, they are the real routing of the game. Next up, we have Next Scene. This is for stage clear or challenge type of games. If you want to use the Skip button or Next button after this option, you would definitely, it would automatically take them to the next scene in the current world. It's important to note that only works on UI screens attached to a world, like Game Over, Game One, or even Pause. If you put this on the main menu, it will do nothing because it's not on top of a world. We have Auto Follow. This means as soon as you click this button to unlock it, say with in-game currency, it would immediately activate the button. For example, a skip button you would want to auto follow right when they click it to unlock it you want to skip and go to the next level. A new game mode you probably would not want to auto follow because instead you would want to have play a success sound and have a new graphic showing the new game mode is unlocked. For auto lock we made this for the skip button. With next scene and the options to deep link a scene we can now have a single game over our game one UI for stage clear or challenge type of games. Sometimes you'll want the button to lock every time you open the screen like a skip button. Other times you will not want to lock it each time, like a new game mode button, or a button that links to a new level. So hopefully this helps you with a couple of the options here and gives a little clarity on how to lock and unlock worlds and how you can pretty easily recreate this test case. But if you have any further questions, as always, reach out to us at support at buildbox.com or in the forums. We're always there to help you, but hopefully this brings you a little bit of clarity.